Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nibbing at your nose Well, hey there, and welcome to the legendary JNC Lounge. I'm Brad Brock, and this is our Ugly Sweater Holiday Special. So grab a hot cocoa cocktail. Settle in to your favorite chair and snuggle up for the Jams and Cocktails live podcast. Yes, oh yes. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> and welcome to the Jams and Cocktails live podcast. This is episode 48, and it is our Ugly Sweater Holiday Special. I'd like to thank all of you for tuning in live tonight on Facebook and YouTube, and thanks to those of you catching the show later, wherever you get your podcasts, like iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, or iTunes or Apple Podcasts is what they're calling them these days. But wherever you're listening, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. So what a year it's been. And uh, I've been uh, totally thrilled to spend it with my partner in crime, Miss Jordan Taylor, joining us in the legendary JNC Lounge. Right back at you, Slick. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And, uh, you know, this year has been loaded with challenges and more questions than answers. But we have prevailed and we are here. Uh, you know, we, we plan to broadcast this show tonight from the very snorkel corn Christmas event at the public house. But, uh, you know, our good friend Zach Jones opted for the safety of our fellow entertainers. And I agree and appreciate him for that. But we'll definitely come back with a great event next year uh, for all of you. So tonight we're showing off our ugly sweaters. We're sipping on some festive cocktails. Ooh, ah. Brought to you by Swiss Miss. <laughs> Brought to you by <laughs> Swiss Miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gonna take a sip. And the largest mint stick things you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> so fun. Yes, yes. I, I had to get them. I couldn't. I couldn't pass it up. Yeah, those are pretty awesome. <laughs> While we're uh, going through all these cocktails, having a good old time, we'll be telling stories. We're playing some games with all of you and pulling out some jams from the Brad Brock archives. So some tunes that I haven't even heard or videos I haven't seen in a long time. So, uh, But before we jump into that, let's check out our shot of the week. Yeah. And of course, sticking with our festive ways, our festive ways, we're going to do the Christmas cookie shot. And of course, uh, this week is brought to you by our partner, Drizzly Liquor Delivered to Your Door. This is a festive shot recipe right from their website, and it's called the Christmas cookie shot. So this thing is loaded with all the good stuff. Let me tell you. So you start with four ounces of Irish cream, two ounces of butterscotch schnapps, one ounce of Cointreau, 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 somebody, uh, somebody <laughs> corrects <us>. me on <laughs> that <laughs> and have an ounce of coffee liqueur. We are using Camora uh, because it's on our bar. So, yeah. And uh, we have some clear shot glasses, courtesy of Johnny Ringo and the Code Rum Company. <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, here we are. Um, it looks delicious, Jordan. It does. It is a good color. Yes, indeed. It looks very, uh, very holiday. Cris- yeah. Yes. It smells good too. Very cookie. Well, to all of you out there, cheers and cheers to you, Jordan. Oh, cheers to you, Brad. Thank you for that lovely warming video. Mm. We oh. caught you so off guard, didn't we? When we barged in, you were just playing the piano. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy says he thinks it's con tro. Tro was the hard part, buddy. I, I need the second half of that. <laughs> but yeah, if you didn't catch my little intro video, if you're just l- tuning in now, you're going to have to want to go back and watch that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but uh, Scott Ben says we want cookie. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you guys, as I mentioned, we, we had a, quite a different show uh, planned for you guys. But um, due to, uh, to putting, that, putting a pin in that event, um, we're here hanging out in the lounge. Uh, we got plenty of drinks. We got some Christmas cookies. We got all kinds of fun stuff for you. And uh, the biggest thing is we have these really cool, ugly sweaters. Now, somebody told me that it wasn't fair that we called them ugly sweaters because they were actually very cute sweaters. Oh. Yeah. Uh, on one of the comments in one of our posts. Um, and I was like, okay. But uh, this thing has been through some shit. Yes. Let me tell got you. some shame on it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, many times for breezed, never washed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've definitely had this for for years. Would you say it's the brotherhood of the traveling sweater? I'm going to say no, because I don't think anybody else has worn it oh. but me. True. But I mean, for you. Uh, yeah. It, well, it like def- you're the whole brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has been with me through uh, the, the thick and the thin. And it fits you. And back to thick again. See? <laughs> But let's talk about yours. Yours is so cute. Thank you. I'm Santa. Yeah, but what what's your real name? Santasia. Santasia. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <It's> beautiful. <laughs> yes, I have a buckle and everything. We'll have to get you to Very stand official. up and do a spin in a little bit. Okay. But um, <laughs> we also had a couple people send in. Uh, we had a couple people send in some pictures Ooh. of theirs. Um, so let me... Uh, let me cue it up real quick. I forgot where I put it. Uh, I'm not going to tell anybody who this first person is because it's a throwback photo. So you're just going to have to guess. So I'm going to I'm going to let you guess, Jordan, who who this is. Oh, boy. When it pops up. Very exciting stuff. This is good. Yes. Um, let me uh, let me make sure I'm put, pulling up the right one. Oh. There we go. All right. Our first submission here. Oh, dear. (laughs) So cute. It's the cutest kid ever. Yeah. All right. I think I know who it is. You think you know who it is? Yes. All right. I hope I'm not wrong, because I guess that might be embarrassing. (laughs) All right. Tell me. It looks like Scott Benj. It is Scott Benj. What an adorable little muffin. (laughs) Oh, and he's tuning in. He's tuning in. (laughs) Oh, so cute. That's awesome. I know, right? Looks just like him. I know. I know. (laughs) We were talking earlier today, and he was like, he was like, I used to be cute. I don't know what happened. I was like, join the club, pal. Uh, <laughs> good, good, good. Oh, uh, Jen Major wants the recipe one more time. For- uh, she said, uh, recipe we got it. Don't oh, eat you all, LOL. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're a little- sorry, guys. We're, uh, we're getting settled in here. Derek, uh, Derek Zugel, producer Derek, tuning in. We're going to send a shout out to him. He's feeling very under the weather. And uh, we love you, Derek. Yes. And uh Stay strong, buddy. Yes. And uh, get well, and we'll see you back here in the lounge in no time. Thanks for tuning in, though. Hopefully, we can lift your spirits a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah just to mention, um, as I mentioned earlier, we, we have partnered with Drizzly, uh, the liquor delivery company, which is just seems right up our alley. You know what I mean? Um, so you can actually, each week, check out our website, jncpodcast.com. Click on Shot of the Week. You'll see what that shot is, and you'll see a link just below that that takes you to Drizzly. You can get all the ingredients that you need to join us each week for our Shot of the Week. And if you order through that click, through that link, 
we actually get a kickback for uh, for that. So you're helping support us by getting liquor delivered to your door. And helping the world by not going outside. Yeah. So much helping. So much is helping. going on here. You got to do it there. Yes. You got to do it there. And helping your liver. Mm. Debatable. Debatable. Some will say yes. Debatable. <laughs> if you have one glass of red wine a night. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, glass, you ever see those? Check. You ever see those glasses that take a that that are big enough to take a whole bottle? Yeah. Of wine? Apparently, they sell that at Costco for eighty dollars. The big, huge glass. Eighty dollars. I know, right? Oh no bargain God. there. Mm-mm. Nope, not a bargain there. But awesome. Yeah, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine drinking out of something the size of your drum in the corner there? Oh my God. <laughs> no, it's not that big, is it? I think so. Oh it's my. as big as the shopping cart. It's a it's a wine glass. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that awesome? I think we need that. How Someone. Many, how many? Shout out to Costco. <laughs> yeah. How many bottles of wine does it fit? I don't know, but we need to find out. It sounds oh, like a look. science experiment brewing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Big uh, big experiment. <laughs> I mean, maybe a big box of wine. <laughs> the biggest box of <laughs> the wine. Biggest box of wine. Ever. Literally ever. <laughs> Oh man! Well, you guys, um, let's see, let's see. Yeah, this was a. I don't know where you got yours, Jordan. Your your sweater. This was a Walmart find back in the day. They always have like some fun ones. Yeah. There was another one that I saw that said uh, it was Santa Claus, and it was straight out of the North Pole. Oh. And it said ho 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 on it. Mm. And uh, I went back to try to find it today, just to kind of switch it up, you know. And uh, no. There's no avail. There's one that keeps popping up on my Facebook newsfeed, and it's if anyone's ever seen Tommy Boy, one of my favorite movies. Um, and it says, Ho, ho, holy shnikes. And it's got <laughs> uh, Chris Farley's face like on it. And I think it's so hilarious. Yeah, I think I've seen that one. Yeah, I've seen I that really one as well. Want it. I don't know where. I guess it's probably just online, some random website. But this was an Aldi's find for the win. Shout out to Marissa. <laughs> For hooking us all up. Did you know? A couple of years ago. That's awesome. Yes. Did I know what? I don't know. I was I was about to try to crack a joke and uh, mm. I lost it. All these nuts. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure that out. All somewhere. these elves. Uh, all these know. elves. No, not quite as good, but oh. I guess it kind of worked. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. What did Derek say? Um, da, 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 da. Must have a little bit of a delay because uh, they're all still talking about the the wine. Oh yes, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, Christine, wine. we're down. Uh, we, we'd love for you to uh, to help with that experiment. I mean, the more scientists, the better. Yes. Um, and uh, Derek is he asked if they delivered to the hospital, and uh, that, my friend, I I don't know. I would assume as long as they have an address. Yeah. Probably. I mean, I delivered. Uh, some of the bite squad or whatever to the oh bye bye, <laughs> bye mint stick peppermint stick um i delivered food to the hospital from bite squad or one of them whatever one i was doing at the time yeah but so, i wonder if you like i'm oh, pretty sure you have to like not. show your id and sign for it that's true Which yeah, there might be a pickle for that too. either way it's worth, uh, worth a try yeah we need uh we need more experimenters or 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 People experimenting with Drizzly and uh, ordering through our site to to get your liquor and let us know how it goes. Yes. Yes. Um, I guess without further ado, um, because we're really kind of uh, just running with our pants down. Oh, boy. Yeah. Sounds cold. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. Boy, it looked so cold outside today. It was so it was so like looked like a snow day. And then you walked outside and it was still 80 degrees. Boy. We are in Florida. Too crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're going to jump right into it. Uh, each week, the ravishing Jordan Taylor hits us with all the on this day music history, celebrity birthdays, departures, and anything else that floats her boat in her very own segment we call The Jordy Files. <laughs> Oops, I almost forgot something. 
Anyway, Jordy. Hi. What's up? Oh, not much. How uh, about you? Living the dream over here, drinking my my spiked uh, spiked chocolate hot cocoa. Yes, the best way to have hot cocoa. So good. So good. <laughs> what do you got for us this week? Oh, so much. So we will start it out with our birthdays as usual. So today, December 16th, um, in 1937, country musician Jim Glasser, member of the Glasser Brothers, um, they had nine singles on the Billboard Hot Country Singles Charts and became members of the Grand Old Opry in the 1960s. Nice. And it's funny, tonight we're going to start with that same kind of factoid and end with it based on some people, which I thought was very interesting. Cool. And before having Jamie on, I've never heard about the Grand Ole Opry as much as I have since uh, her telling us about it and whatnot. I just want to throw that out there. Really? Um, yeah. <laughs> so you actually really learned something here. I really did. I learned something on the JNC podcast. So yes. So it's a popular venue. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a major legendary. deal in country music for sure. <laughs> yes. So I've never heard it as much as I have in the last like two months. Thank you, Jamie. And then in 1946, Benny Anderson, a Swedish musician and composer, was born on this day. In 1949, Bill Gibbons, American musician, singer, songwriter, producer, and actor. Uh, Gibbons formed ZZ Top in late 1969 and released ZZ Top's first album in 1971. And a little factoid, he was ranked number 32 um, on the 2011 Rolling Stone list of the 100 greatest guitarists of all time. Just in yeah. case. <coughs> he is, uh, he, he's a big deal. Billy yes. Gibbons is a, is a huge deal, yeah. Oh, Billy. Sorry. Oh, Billy. I called him Bill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How very formal of you. I know. Gosh, <laughs> we're not on, you know, that level. In 1951, uh, Robin Ford, he spells his name really cool, R-O-B-B-E-N. Hmm. Anyway, sorry, I liked that. American blues, jazz, and rock guitarist. Uh, he was a member of the LA Express and had collaborated with Miles Davis, Joni Mitchell, George Harrison, Larry Carlton, and Kiss. Uh, <laughs> he was named one of the 100 greatest guitarists of the 20th century by Musician Magazine. So... All the we had a the basis a we few had all weeks the ago <laughs> on the same day, and today is guitarist day, so there is a day for everyone. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> in 1972, Michael McCarry uh, from American R and B vocal group Boys to Men was born, and our baby birthday in 1997, Swedish singer and songwriter Zara Larsson was born. And then on the local scene, we would like to give a birthday shout out to Bradley Saint. Uh, we really miss you and hope you are still singing all the tunes on your special day. So happy birthday, Bradley. Yeah, sadly, we lost him earlier this year. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, good to, to still celebrate the, the birth of such an incredible local artist here on our scene. So, Brad, we do miss you. We hope that you're rocking out wherever you are. Yes. And then on this day in music history, in 1971, Frank Zappa's 200 Motels film opened at London's Piccadilly Classic Cinema in the UK. Love that word, Piccadilly. Piccadilly. <laughs> yes. Um, the film, which also featured Ringo Starr, covers a loose storyline about the mothers of I invention going crazy in the small town Centerville. Sounds interesting. And then in 1972... Billy Paul started a three-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Me and Miss Jones, the song which describes an extramarital affair between a man and his lover. Me and Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Just to put it in perspective for you all, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the single was later recorded by Michael Bubble. Buble. <laughs> Michael Bubble. Michael Bubble, my favorite. <laughs> and then in 1974, guitarist. Uh, uh, another guitarist. Another guitarist. Mick Taylor announced he was leaving the Rolling Stones, saying he felt that now was the time to move on and do something new. 
1993, MTV aired Nirvana's Unplugged Session for the first time. The album featured an acoustic performance taped at Sony Music Studios in New York City on November 18th, 1993. Fact was previously on an episode of The Geordie Files on November 18th. I talked about it as well because you that's did. when they recorded it. Yes. You did. So it's all, we're just, it's all coming back all to me. All coming together. It is all fitting together. And unlike many artists who appeared on the show, Nirvana filmed its entire performance in a single take. So shout out to you, Nirvana. Nirvana. The nerve on a. <laughs> um, in 2013, it was reported that Miley Cyrus had insured her infamous tongue for $1 million has. A source told Heat Magazine, Miley's totally aware of how her tongue is getting more headlines than she is, and getting it insured is just part of her trademarked image. Um, it's not the first time she's done something like this. When, when she first cut her hair short, she... Um, tried to get her new crop patented. She wanted it to become known as the Miley. Ah, the Miley. She's yes. always thinking always that thinking. one. Yes. Um, and then, you know, with the birthdays and on this day, we have to talk about the departures on this day. So in 1988, um, American soul and disco singer Sylvester James died of complications from AIDS in San Francisco at the age of 41. In 1997, Nicolette Larson, American rock vocalist, died from a brain seizure at 45. Wow. And then, last but not least, earlier this week, on December 12th, country music has taken a huge loss with the death of Charlie Pride. Charlie was an American singer, guitarist, and professional baseball player. Wow. Um, yeah. His greatest musical success came in uh, the mid-1970s when he was the best-selling performer for RCA Records since Elvis Presley. During the peak years of his recording career, 1966 to 1987, he had 52 top 10 hits on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart, 30 of which made it to number one. Um, he won the Entertainer of the Year Award at the Country Music Association Awards in 1971, Pride was one of three African-American members of the Grand Old Opry. The others were DeFord Bailey and Darius Rucker. Um, and he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2000. So pretty incredible pretty career. Stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So say on Charlie Pride. What a life. What a what a legacy. Uh, and uh, just great music. Yeah. 30, 30 number one hits, you said, that went to number one? Uh, 52 top 10 hits, and yeah, 30 <sighs> made it to number one. That's incredible. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. What a career. Yes, and that is The Geordie Files. The Geordie Files. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Nice, nice. Thank you. Thank and you, Brad. And as I mentioned, um, as I mentioned before, if you're just tuning in for the Geordie Files, which I know many of you do. Yes, to you, get your knowledge. Yeah, and you just you can't get enough of, of that of that beautiful face. Yeah, there it is. Ding. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Wrong button. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Not the joke button. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. <laughs> you can't get enough of that face. Check it out. Uh, check out jncpodcast.com. And uh, click on the Jordy Files link, and you can look at all of her videos. I'm slacking a little bit. I need to uh, I need to update them, but all of her Jordy Files neatly cropped. You can put them Ooh. in a playlist and binge watch Jordan. Wow! Through the are years. you going to do one of all the uh, special word sabotages I've? <laughs> I put should together. Put, I should put together a blooper reel. A blooper, yeah. There we go. I That's should. The word. I should. That's probably going to happen. Let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Christine says, I was like, wow, Brad, when I hit the wrong button. <laughs> no, I'm not that heartless. <laughs> I, might, hmm. I might be. Yeah, right. Not up front, <laughs> not on air. <laughs> right. Well, you guys, <laughs> coming up next. <clears throat> Coming up next, we're going to play a round of Name That Tune with all of you. But first, we'll get our first little jam from the vault. So, take it away, Brad. Rock me, baby. Rock me, 
instead of you Then don't you stop rocking there Till you know that I'm fast asleep Oh man, come stay dear Keep me sane and near Cause the world is so cold now We ain't got a little fire burning me and Justin Mandel, the man, the myth, the legend, uh, performing at the Square Grouper in Fort Pierce for that one. That was a little song I wrote called Stealing the Covers. Hope you enjoyed that. So we are back with uh, with a game to play. Ooh. So, yes. Ooh, would you like to play a game? <laughs> so, uh, of course, in this segment, we challenge all of our live viewers to their knowledge of popular music in this little game called Name That Tune. Yay. And because it's just Jordan and I here in the lounge, we're going to uh, forego the multiple camera views and to oh. just get a play. All righty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Uh, keeping it festive this week, uh, we're going to do some holiday tunes. How about that? Bet you weren't expecting that. Uh, tonight, we're just looking for the name of the performer, as most of these songs are incredibly recognizable. So write your guesses in the comments in the chats, and uh, let's play. Are okay. you ready? I would. Okay. I was hoping it was going to be the other way around. Unless are the songs called Holiday? <laughs> No, they're just they're just they're just Christmas songs or holiday songs. Ooh, and we have to give you the artist, and you just have to give me the artist. Oh, that sounds easy enough, right? Yeah, That's but cool. before we get started, I got a photo here. Ooh, uh, this is uh, this is Dave and Jen 
joining us for the shot of the week there yes. earlier on. <laughs> well done. Love it. What and did you think of the Christmas cookie? <laughs> yeah, let us know what you thought of that shot. And of course, uh, this is uh, Ashley Morales watching us on the TV there live from the hot tub. So thank you guys for tuning in with us tonight. Yay. Look at that. Look, send me, and feel free to send me, uh, send me photos all night. I'd love to show them off. Um, so yeah, so just, just, uh, holiday tunes, but I just want the artists, the people that are performing them. Sound, sound good. You good. You ready to do this? Yeah. Scott Benj, are you ready to do this? <laughs> are you ready to win this Scott? <laughs> all right. Paul gives you a run for your money though, Scott, when you're not around. So true. All right. Here we are looking just for the performer. First clue tonight. <laughs> I wonder how many of these Facebook is going to not allow me to have. Actually, Facebook's pretty good. YouTube, though, they give me some shit. Jordan's writing feverishly. And Jeremy. <laughs> how can I know? Jeremy came straight in with Mariah Carey. Al Baltran also with Mariah Carey. Nice. Uh, I can't believe not, Jeremy got that one. Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey, not Whitney, not Whitney. We had one answer for Whitney. Close though. Everybody else is pretty in with the win. What'd you get, Jordan? I said, and Jeremy will like this, uh, Mariah moment with a winky face. <laughs> That's correct. Well done, you guys. Uh, Jen said Yay. that it didn't taste like a cookie, but we improvised. So, <laughs> did you put cookie actually in it? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps, perhaps. <laughs> we thought about doing that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Are we ready for the next clue? I think so. Ready? Here we are. Ready. Second one. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Remember, we're looking for the artist. <laughs> oh, I know this. Here it is. One more time for you guys. And while we're doing that, I, we also have really cute Christmas cookies here that we're snacking on. <laughs> yes. Super cute. Answers are starting to come in. Christine with Wham. That is correct. Jeremy with Wham. And a lot of George Michael, who uh, was a member of Wham as well. Jordan, what did you get? I said, Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> That's correct. And uh, I do want to mention, if you are participating tonight, as always, we are putting your name in the drawing for a prize. So we got some other cool prizes to give out. Uh, so um, we'll do that drawing for uh, anybody that participates tonight. Who is <laughs> Drums and Rum says that guy that got caught in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, who is PRC? PRC. In YouTube. I can't see who that is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Identify you be, yourself, yeah. PRC. If you want to be on the list. <laughs> it's okay. You could be incognito as well. Yes. We will put you as PRC. We'll put you as if PRC. If that is what you want to be. Oh, be all you can be. All right. Next <laughs> clue, you guys. Wow. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Santa, tell me if you're really there. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. It's Paul from Drums and Rums. Oh. PRC. <laughs> oh, well, he he's on so many. Oh, no, I'm oh. sorry. Philip in Tennessee. Oh, Philip. I misread that, Philip. I apologize. <laughs> but yes, Jeremy, Jeremy is slaying the game with Ariana Grande. That is who that was. Ariana Grande. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Phil, how is the uh, how's the weather up there? Is it getting cold in Tennessee yet? I bet it is. Phil's great. He always comes out to my shows whenever he makes it down to uh, down to Florida. So we appreciate you tuning in, brother. Ashley, in with Ariana. Is it Ariana or Ariana? Uh, what do I, what do I say? You say Ariana. I always say Ariana. Yeah. Uh, Ariana, I apologize. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure she'll answer either. Maybe. I'm sorry, Ari. Actually, no. She probably has a preference. 
I mean, you know, we, we all have a preference. I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Phil said it's uh, cold and dreary in Tennessee. I hear you, pal. <laughs> Jeremy said, can you tell I like Christmas music? <laughs> yep, we sure can. <laughs> all right, you guys. Here is the ne- – that was – by the way, that was uh, Ari- Ariana Grande. Yeah. Miss Grande. <laughs> Miss Grande was the answer for that. Here's the next clue. Rocking around the Christmas tree Ooh. at the Christmas party hop. And Jordan is hard at work there. Again, as I mentioned, we are looking just for the, the name of the artist. That's all we need. Cause, uh, I have a bad feeling about this one. <laughs> what is this, a Star but, Wars movie? But I went with my gut instinct. <laughs> oh, Jeremy. Which is usually wrong. God, Jeremy oh. is dominating. What did you have, Jordan? Oh. Mm. Just show it. Oh, uh, that's, that's a very good guess, but it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. <laughs> Christine gave you one better. Christine said that one lady. <laughs> oh, yeah. But Brenda Lee is the correct answer for that. Rocking around the Christmas tree. Around the Christmas tree Classic. From which Christmas famous movie? Home. Every Christmas movie ever <laughs> filmed on the face yes, of the planet. Yes, but which one that I'm thinking of? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn all about your favorite Christmas <laughs> movies in a segment coming up here in just a little bit. Yes. But that is correct. Brenda Lee is the right answer for that. And our final clue, this one might throw you for a loop. It always does for me. So, but if you are eagle-eared or eagle-eyed, we did mention this person a little bit earlier on. Mm. And uh, here we go. It's beginning to look a lot like Ah. Christmas. God, I could listen to that man's voice on repeat. Here it is one more time. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Anyway, we got a lot of comments coming in for Home Alone, which is uh, is the film you were talking about, right, Jordan? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, all right. And Jeremy with a sweep, with a <laughs> sweep this week. Dang plant. Christine also in with Michael Buble, not Bing Crosby, Al, but it was a good guest as well. I believe he was the original uh, that did that song. But uh, Michael Buble is the artist for that particular version. You know, Jeremy, I agree. Uh, Jeremy chimed in. He said, not my preferred version, but it's okay. And I I agree. It's it's tough to cover classics when you're so used to hearing these incredible artists from yesteryear performing the song, you know, performing the songs. They were the ones that made it famous to begin with. Um, So, but Michael Buble is is incredibly talented vocalist. So we did that. So, yes. yes. Well done, you guys. I, Name I, that tune, uh, Jeremy. Good God. I think I need to send you a... <laughs> God, you and Scott. <laughs> you and Scott. competition. I think I need to send you guys something anyway, just because. I'd like to just share mine. Oh, what was your answer? <laughs> Michael Bubbles. Those are bubbles. <laughs> Those are bubbles. <laughs> really nice. Well, well done. Thank you. Beautiful artwork. Yes, I like to make art with my answers. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> We had quite the participants. <laughs> Scott said, I kept waiting for Christmas wrapping by the waitresses. You never know, Scott. Oh. But, but I'm going to tell you that it's probably not going to happen. That would have. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have gotten that one. Oh, no, no, no. Well, uh, before we move on, uh, I guess we should do a drawing. How many, uh, how many people did we have there, Jordan? We had seven. Seven. Nice. Seven. Nice. I know. I do appreciate you guys tuning in live. Yes, we really do you. appreciate it, uh, uh, especially when, when we have enough to play the game and, uh, and make it interesting. So thank you for tuning in and playing along. We're going to get Jordan to pick the number here. So drum roll. Oh, I have the list. Ah, oh, shit. So I guess it has to be me, right? It has to be you. It had to, to be, be you. you. <laughs> <laughs> So good. God, I love you. I love you. All right. Get down on your knees and tell me you love me. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I love you. All right. God, we could quote that movie all day. Okay, here we yes. go. Drum roll. One to seven, right? Three. I was going to pick three. <gasps> See? Who it, who it is? Al. Al Beltran. <laughs> Woo! Speaking of Al, Al Baltran, 
Tara Fermata, Cosmic Barley, Co- not Cosmic Barley. Um, I'm drawing a blank, Al. But they are, regardless, they are throwing a massive show this Saturday night with the Bloody Jug Band, who are great friends of ours, was uh, previous guests on our show. Um, really, really excited about this concert on Saturday night at Terra Fermata in downtown Stewart. Uh, they are coming all the way from Orlando to perform for you guys. They are amazing. We will be out there in force to uh, hang out with you guys and listen to them play and get to catch up with our friends. And uh, I'm sure Al will be there. Uh, they got all kinds of other stuff there. Yeah, he said, yes, Cosmic Barley as well. So cool. I was uh, at least in the right vein. Um, Al, feel free to drop in the comments uh, all the other stuff. I know I read something today that there's going to be uh, uh, some artwork out there and, and some other things going on. So uh, let us know all that while you're tuning in here. And uh, we will see you guys. I think uh, tickets are $8 at terraformata.com or you can get them at the door. So uh, we will be there. Uh, I think music begins at seven o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. So, yes, yeah. seven. Yes. And it's outside. And it's outside. So, yes. you know, and with, easy to social distance yes. and, uh, you know, just be smart and safe. And I think there's a food truck out there. It's all kinds of stuff. So the Bloody Jug Band cannot be missed. They're amazing. They are amazing. So, and we'll bring it up again a little bit later. But I saw Al. Al is our winner Yay! of the drawing. So, Al, you're going to get some cool stuff. I'll probably just bring it with me on Saturday. <laughs> Save myself a little bit of postis, postage. <laughs> bring your um, your jacket. What are they called? What's that? The, your trench coat. Oh, yeah. Just open it up <laughs> yeah. and be like, what do you want? Mm, yeah. Trench coat. What do you want? <laughs> That's so creepy. Hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Al just said about that show on Saturday. Um, they got vendors out there. There'll be a uh, CBD vendor. Oh, there'll be a food Ayo. truck called uh, Lights. Uh, food truck. Um, you said it's going to be like a mini little mini little festival down there. So uh, I'm stoked. I can't wait. It's going to be a good time. So uh, join us on Saturday, and uh, yeah, come and get your fill of the Bloody Jug Band. Yeah. Yeah. Um, coming up next, we are going to get our midweek motivation on with the one and only Tony Espinosa. But first, we'll uh, get another jam in here while we refresh our drinks and uh, prepare for our next segment, which we're calling the Christmas Movie Game. Another interactive segment with all of you to uh, help us choose who has the better Christmas movie list. So <laughs> <laughs> enjoy this tune.
Mexico. <laughs> Jordan was saying, man, you pulled that one really far out of the vault there. <laughs> <laughs> She was like, wow, I haven't seen those. Is that even you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, just oh. a little baby. Just a little baby, only just a couple of years ago. <laughs> little grayer these days, you know, living with you, my dear. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I bring out the grays in yeah. Yeah, God, if you don't. Uh, everything else everything does. Everything else does. <laughs> Brooke, Mary 2020 to you as well. Bethany, thank you for chiming in. She said, "How festive!" Yes, yes, yes. We try to uh, we try to spruce up, you know, and uh, get into the spirit. Um, and with that being said, we're also going to have uh, another friend in the spirit as well, because each week our friend, leadership coach Tony Espinosa, gives us some pearls of wisdom to get through the remainder of the week. So take some notes. This is your midweek motivation. <laughs> Brad Brock, my friend, how you doing, brother? Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is you celebrate or whatever your belief system is, I'm sending you love to help celebrate that. Um, speaking of love, I wanna get into that really quick, especially the giving time of year, here in the holidays, you know, the best gift that you can give yourself. And in turn, it's gonna be one of those um, cascading, I guess you could say, kind of gifts that once you give it to yourself, it's going to filter down to everybody in your life, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your entire support system. The best gift you can give is to love yourself. Let me say that again. The best gift you can give is to love yourself. You have value. You have purpose, you have passion, you have everything it takes to be successful, to be significant, to, to write your own legacy. You have all the components, but without the love for yourself, nothing else is going to work properly. It's like having a badass Audi R8 sitting in the driveway, but you have no gasoline to get it started. And when you love yourself and you give yourself the gift of love and knowing who you are and being proud of yourself and knowing that you can accomplish it and having the confidence and the passion to move forward, that's going to filter out to everyone around you. Believe me, I live it every day. People are like, how are you so positive all the time? How are you always so caring, so giving? You're always looking out for the little guy. You're always moving forward. You're always helping people out of the dirt, picking them up, lifting them up. Because I love myself. I know what I deserve. I know who I am. And it's not cocky. It's not arrogant. It's not ego. It's that I know I'm a valuable person. And I know what's in my heart and what I have to give out there. So I can give it. I can be vulnerable on the surface of my life and let people into my world. It's not about I win and you lose. We can all win together. But until you get to the point where you love yourself, none of the, nothing else matters. It's not gonna, it's not gonna matter. It's not gonna work because if you don't love who you are, you're never gonna have that energy to smile and want to push forward and persevere no matter how hard it gets. If you don't love yourself, when a hard time comes, it's just going to be another brick you're putting in your backpack because you just don't feel like you deserve it. You don't feel like it's ever going to get there. And then all the people in your life will notice that and they start to be like, oh man, it's like you're looking for, not, you're not intentionally looking for sympathy, but then people get tired of having to always lift you up and always like, you know what? They're always so negative. They're always so down. They're always so depressed. How can he love someone else when he doesn't even love himself? So give yourself the gift of love. And when you do that, it's going to filter out to everyone in your life. And they're going to see how much you love you. They're going to love you. The more you feel love, the more love you're going to have to give. 
Again, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, whatever you believe in, I'm sending you love to support that. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Oh, yay, yes. Tony. Tony Espinosa. Yes. Great message. It's true, man. You know, you got to, what, what does RuPaul say, babe? I was going to say wise words, Tony got from Ru. Yeah. She says, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Up in here. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so if you, if you'd like to take your personal or professional life to the next level, Reach out to Tony at TonyEspinosaLeadership.com or search him out on social media and uh, send him a message and get in touch with him and he'll get you set on the right track. So before we get into our Christmas movie game, uh, speaking of things that that we love here on the Jams and Cocktails podcast, we love jams and we love cocktails. So we want to talk a little bit about our friends at Drums and Rums. Paul, who's tuning in tonight, uh, we want to talk about Drums and Rums and we want to talk about uh, our good friends and sponsors, Code Rum. And uh, Johnny Ringo. So uh, just to say, our friend, JNC alumni, Paul Robertson, host of the Drums and Rums podcast, uh, he's been going through his very own brand of advent calendar this month, revealing new rum cocktails uh, each day. So uh, be sure to head over to the Drums and Rums Facebook page and uh, check out all the previous reveals and follow him for the rest of his advent calendar countdown. Uh, Paul, we love what you do, man. Thank you uh, for being a friend of our show and tuning in and supporting us. And I, I know I'm I'm sorry that I've been a little out of touch. Uh, we were trying to pull something together for uh, for one of the Advent reveals, and uh, I've just been incredibly busy, thankfully. And uh, and by no means am I upset about it. But uh, just trying to sift through all that is uh, is always. Uh, always a good time. <laughs> but speaking of rum cocktails, uh, I did get to hang out with Johnny Ringo of the Code Rum Company yesterday as we worked together on his new radio show, The Pirate Radio Show, which you can catch each Sunday morning from 8 to 9 on the coast, 101.3. You'll be hanging out with Ringo and his guests, and uh, I'll be co-hosting uh, periodically from time to time because uh, he's actually recording the shows right here in the legendary JNC lounge. So uh, this particular coming week, you'll hear a lot of my voice there. If you're up that early, check it out. 101.3, the pirate radio show. But he brought up a great seasonal code recipe that I just had to try here on the podcast. It is called the Code Spiced eggnog cocktail and jordan is over there getting ready to be the mixologist that she is so what it is is spiced rum and just a splash of cinnamon for some flavoring so oh no oh no and not your cord and not your, your cord yeah, no. whoops <laughs> thought it was thirsty here i got a towel <laughs> oh this is why we usually there have a go. professional bartender <laughs> Did you already mix it up or are you going to do it? Uh, no, not yet. All right. So Jordan's going to maybe. Oh, gosh, I could use the wireless headphones. <laughs> I am having a God, time. All are. right. All right. So Woo! Christmas is coming. <laughs> All right, Jordan. So get those cocktails up there. I feel overwhelmed. OK, I feel Here overwhelmed. <laughs> Christine said it's my kind of calendar talking about Paul's advent calendar. Yes. All right, so give us a little code spice drum in there. Oops. Glug, 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 glug. Is that enough? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Good enough. And then just just a just splash a, of the cinnamon. A dabble do ya. And Ringo even said that you could skip the cinnamon if you're not a cinnamon fan. Okay, Ooh. good enough. How fun. Right? And stir, stir, stir. <laughs> Very important. Mix it all up. <laughs> you can be the guinea pig. All right. I'll be the guinea pig here. All right. Ooh, and it even gives like a nice little red color. Yeah. It looks very fun. Science experiment. Oh. Stir, stir, stir. Oh, boy. That, uh, that uh, cinnamon. Goes it, a long way. It sits right at the top there. <laughs> it sits right at the top there. You sip through the straw, it just tastes like eggnog. You sip from the top, it's a different story. Oh. It's a whole different drink. Hmm. Let's see. 
Mm. It, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. You got mm-hmm. it. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh, wow. It yeah. is the spice of life. Woohoo! Nice. Very good. Woo-hoo. Yeah, if you're not a cinnamon fan, I don't recommend the splash of sin. But uh, <laughs> the splash of sin. <laughs> <laughs> ho ho ho! I <laughs> uh, just want to say hi to Amy Lanny for tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in, Amy. <laughs> it is eggnog, Christine. Christine chiming in, asking if that was eggnog. It is eggnog and uh, code spice drum, code cinnamon rum. So we're going to go back uh, to our Christmas movie game. This is an idea that Jordan came to uh, me with for, for dinner tonight. And uh, <laughs> yes, we talk. We talk podcast at dinner. <laughs> we t- to be fair, we talk podcast pretty much yeah. a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so over dinner, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do to um, to pass the time and give you guys something entertaining to do. So this was a great idea. So uh, Jordan was like, Let's list our favorite Christmas movies and let our viewers decide if uh, who's, whose list is better. So we, we narrowed it down to three. It's by no means an all encompassing um, idea of our of all of our favorite movies. But this would I would say this is pretty close to my top three. What do you say, Jordan, about your list? Yeah. Or the ones you just are quintessential holiday movies that you can't think Christmas without watching or wanting to watch right right kind of just your speaks christmas holiday to you (laughs) yes yes i would say it's pretty yeah pretty down okay pretty yeah so what we're gonna do is we're going to list we're gonna list these out and uh once we listen them out we'll have uh we'll have jordan put them in the chats across the board in the in the different areas that we have the show going and uh she'll also be watching the chats and you just say brad's list or jordan's list and we'll keep a tally going and uh towards the end of the show we'll tally it up and um yeah and we'll we'll see who wins i think i'm gonna win i'm pretty certain yeah and i think i'm gonna win so Ah. (laughs) here lies the problem Ah, this is where we need all of you to help squash our egos yep yep christine said hers is a christmas story and uh i just want to share a picture that christine sent me oh goodness just before uh just before we, we we took the break. But uh, this is Christine's little gingerbread village. Oh, Most wow. people do a gingerbread house. This is a gingerbread village she that she's put village. together. Wow. On that on that uh, buffet table. That's awesome. That's awesome. It'll be even better when you get to eat it. <laughs> All right. So. Do you want to go first? Do you want are to do we, your list first? Are we doing one, 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 or are we just going to list all of we ours? Should, I imagine we should probably just list it, not to confuse anybody. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Right? Okay. Sure. That sounds great. Um, so my picks are Home Alone, um, The Santa Claus, and Just Friends. Just Friends. That's just the friends. Ryan Reynolds mm-hmm. flick, right? Yes. And Amy Adams. Amy Smart. Smart. So much for Damn your it. favorite. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've incriminated myself. It is a good one. That is, a, it's a good one. It's, it's a funny a one. Quite charming. Uh, I opted for some of the classics. Oh, okay. <laughs> but not that classic. Uh. So uh, my list, my three, Nightmare Before Christmas, Scrooged with Bill Murray. And topping my list, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So those are my three. So Jordan's going to punch those in uh, in the in the comments there, so you can visually see our our e- each of our lists. And uh, just in the comments, type in Brad's list or Jordan's list, and uh, Jordan will keep an eye on that and keep a tally going. Oh, it's very long in YouTube. It does not. Let me do one of the Does not like it. Does not like <laughs> the list. It's okay, I guess there was a I guess there was a pretty big uh big lag over there on YouTube, so uh a lot of people jumped over to Facebook, which is great. I put the years too because I'm a nerd, so big nerd. <laughs> Oh, that's nice to know. Already, Jordan's already got a, a uh <laughs> whoop, 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 already got a whoop. vote. Oh, I got two votes. Oh, you got two votes. Mine are great, though. Thank, thanks a lot. <laughs> Appreciate that. I win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> While you guys figure out oh, your... Uh, you have one. Oh, oh this yeah. is fun. Okay. Thanks, Amy. I'll take it. <laughs> While you guys uh, put your 
your votes in. I got one more little jam for each of you out there. You can always tell when I'm stretching for time because because <laughs> I gotta I forget to like set things up. Scott said he's gotta go with Brad's list. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Whatever, Scott. I only picked your child photo. All right. This this, this next <laughs> or this last jam is a uh, is a cover tune that I, I recorded many, many years ago, like twenty fourteen or whatever. And I love the song so much, and this was a little cover rendition that I did of it. So enjoy. I feel so close to you right now. It's a false feel. I wear my heart upon my sleeve like it's a big deal Your love bows down on me, surrounds me like a waterfall And there's no stopping us right now I feel so close to you right now close to you right now it's a force field I wear my heart upon my sleeve like it's a big deal your love bows down on me surrounds me like a waterfall and there's no stopping us right now I feel so close to you right now I feel so close. A little Calvin Harris cover there. Woo. Woo woo. All right. We we are currently in a tie for our Christmas movie jam. So uh it'd be great. We we need we need at least a tiebreaker. <laughs> at least so, one other person. <laughs> so Jordan, what was your list one more time, real quick? Um I had Home Alone, the Santa Claus. And just friends. And my list was Nightmare Before Christmas, Scrooged with Bill Murray, and of course, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. A classic. A classic. I feel like they're all classics. I know. I know. It's so tough. Christine, to your to your question, she asked if I have any <laughs> Christmas music. Oh, can she vote for Jordan again? <laughs> yes, you can. No, you can't. Three for uh. <clears throat> no Christmas music uh, currently, but I will work on that this week for our show next week, which will be on Christmas Eve Eve. So, uh, putting together something, uh, we have a couple concepts that we're doing. We're kind of like maybe thinking about doing like a like a game show type show where we actually just spend the show playing 
playing games with prizes for you guys. Um, do like Jeopardy style and uh, spin their wheel of fortune style. So we're going to pull over some things, but in the meantime, I will be putting together some, uh, some little Christmas tunes to play in between. I just did not have time to put that together. So you get some vault tunes this, uh, this week. <laughs> Best I could do under pressure. And Christine said to get my shit together. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, all right. Jeremy said he's torn. He likes two from each of our lists. Oh, Jeremy, you this is all up to you, Jeremy. Yeah, right. Dun, dun. Jeremy, you you're the one. Oh, see, see he said, but one uh, could make the case that Nightmare Before Christmas isn't a Christmas movie. It has Christmas in the title. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, ah, oh, you said her and final answer. God. Yay. Well, we have till we have a little longer. We do. We do. So we're going to get into our shameless plugs Thank you, section Plant. of the show. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Jeremy. Thanks a lot, Jeremy. You the real one. First off, uh, I'd like to thank all of you again for tuning in live uh, or otherwise. Uh, we certainly couldn't do it without you. And if you are tuning in later on, uh, we, we invite you to tune in, as always, to our live shows every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern uh, on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, we'd love to interact with you and get you guys involved wherever you're catching the show. Uh, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channels. Really, really appreciate that. Coming up again this Saturday night, our friends and podcast alumni, the Bloody Jug Band, is making their return to the Treasure Coast for an awesome evening of music at Terra Fermata in downtown Stewart. Again, we are stoked to see them back on the Terra stage, so come hang out with us on Saturday night for the Bloody Jug Band. Tickets are $8 at terraformata.com, or you can get them at the door. Again, I want to add a personal shout out to our great friend and show producer, Derek, who is very under the weather. We love you, and we look forward to seeing you better soon, buddy, and getting you back in the lounge. Thank you for tuning in tonight, and, uh, and we love you, man. Um, I do have a few shows coming up this week. Uh, this is the right list, correct? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you never know. Uh, what so, day are we on? <laughs> tomorrow night, you can catch me at Manatee Island in Fort Pierce at 5.30 p.m., uh, on Friday, I'll be at Hurricane Grill in Stewart, two Fridays in a row. Whoop, whoop. I'll be there at 6 p.m. Saturday afternoon. You can catch me at Costa de Este Beach Resort in Vero Beach at 2 p.m. And then straight over to Terra Fermata to hang out with the Bloody Jug Band. And Sunday morning at 11 a.m., bright and early, mm -hmm. I'll be at the all-new Cork Restaurant in Hobe Sound. So you can uh, check me out for a nice early day on Sunday. Ooh, what a fun Sunday fun day. Right? Do they have brunch? <laughs> I don't know. They probably have I mean, to. I'm, I'm sure that they do. Yeah. Do you want to tell the audience who you saw at Costa? Costa? Oh, I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to dive But it was uh, a okay. basketball legend, Grant Hill. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, but it was <laughs> Grant Hill. <laughs> Grant would be upset. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, you guys, you can check out all of my show dates <laughs> on bradbrock.com or in my free Brad Brock music app. Show dates, merch, this podcast, and even make song requests from your seat. Social distance at my live shows right from the app. It's for Apple and Android and free in your favorite app store. Woo -woo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to our sponsors and partners. Of course, Code Rum. Uh, Hop Life Brewing, Jeff at Treasure Coast Entertainment, the Sneaky Tiki in downtown Stewart, and our new partners at Drizzly Liquors Delivered. Get on that train. And uh, that does it for my shameless plugs. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't want to. Uh, Any shameless Santa, plugs? Uh, Stasia to. Do the shameless plug. Santa Stasia, any any shameless <laughs> plugs? <laughs> um can be hired for Christmas events. Um why are you lying to five these or less people. Um <laughs> <laughs> I will give you my best Santasia and um, I'm cheap. So <laughs> I'm cheap. Oh, oh, plus I'm cheap. Oh, oh man. Oh, hi Ringo. Ringo joining Ringo. Look at, look at what we're sipping on. We're sipping on a code mm -hmm. rum eggnog here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we need your help to vote for our lists. Yeah. Even though I'm winning. 
Yeah, you're winning. <laughs> I do have to admit, Ringo, we did broke. We, we had to break into the into the treasure chest. We pillaged it to get some c- c- cinnamon rum. Oh, look so. at you confessing already. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I cannot tell a lie. I'm like George Washington. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> oh man. Well, 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 well. Uh, so it's looking like Jordan is going to take the music, the movie, which I, I'm completely opposed to this, by the way. So, uh, well, drums and rums could vote. Um, who else are we missing? Ringo. Al. Yes. Um, we're, we're, all you people. Ashley. We oh, need no, you wait, to Ashley vote. vote. We need you to vote. Yes. Your voice must be heard. Uh, See, so Christine's calling me out. She said, wasn't that Honest Abe? No, because it was George Washington that cut down the cherry tree. Or His father he? was like, did you do this? And he was like, yes. yes I cannot I tell a lie. <laughs> it's true. Don't uh, get it twisted. Don't get it confused. It's easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're going to give it to Jordan. Jordan is the winner. Woo! I will be making him watch all these movies. So thank you. Oh, wait. Just before, just under Under the wire, under the wire, drums and rums, drums and rums comes in with Brad's list. So we are at a tie. We need a tiebreaker. Wow. That was a really mean victory to just give me to be taken away like that. Don't be mad. (laughs) Don't be mad when we're living in a, in a live, in a live setting, you know, it's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. (sighs) <laughs> Ugh, whatever oh uh, tiebreaker you guys tiebreaker we need one vote for either jordan or i um, my three movies my three favorite christmas movies nightmare before christmas uh scrooged with bill murray and national lampoon's christmas vacation what was yours jordan i had home alone the santa claus and just friends so come on quickly Yes. Fight to the death, Christine said. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly, somebody do a tiebreaker. <laughs> Get your peppermint stick thing out. <laughs> we're, we're dueling. Gonna, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a duel. <laughs> we're gonna have a holiday duel. <laughs> oh boy. Jousting. <laughs> Jousting. <laughs> it, one day I hope that we have an arena to be able to do these kinds of <laughs> insane <Elaborate> things. things. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> Drums and Rum says absentee ballot. <laughs> Johnny Ringo says his vote goes to Brad. Whatever, Ringo. I am the winner. See if we allow you back over. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Chris voted Chris for Chris voted. You know what? Friend. Do 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 do. Friend. <laughs> oh. Friend? Should we call a truce? No. Do we call it, do we, we, do we call <laughs> oh, it a truce? Fist pump or whatever it's called. I mean, I was going to shake your hand, but, you know, oh. social distance. <laughs> Not uh, that we don't sleep in the same bed. Or live in the same, or live in the house. same house. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So we're going to call it a draw. The movies are all great. Yes. Ringo, $20 is in the mail, pal. <laughs> $20 uh, is in the mail. It is convenient how he chimed in or he tuned in <laughs> just right as, under the wire. I there. just need it. I need it. So uh-huh. Jack Hearn. Oh, hello. Hello from California. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in right here uh, towards the end here. But good to good to see you. Hope you guys are doing well out there in California land. Yes. Yes. Well, as we're winding down the show again, thank you guys so much for hanging with us tonight. Um Next week, as I mentioned, we're gonna we're gonna pull together something good. We're gonna keep you know keep it pretty low key because I know people are doing things for for Christmas week and getting their things sorted out. So we'll be pretty low key. Um, we may do a game show type, so we'll have some people call in and be on the panel and, and playing some games and uh, get you guys involved in. And we'll be doing more than just one prize next week. I think we'll uh, we'll do some games where everybody gets a little a little something something. So, but after that. On the 30th, uh, we have a very special show. The Leafy Greens Band is an amazing Americana duo, and uh, they will be our guests on the 30th, which is my my birthday show. Oh, I was going to make a joke. I was going to say, and the next day Uh, is a great day because... And you were going to say, it's my birthday. And I was going to say, no, because it's New Year's Eve. Ah, yes. Yeah. I guess it wasn't that great of a joke. But. You should have. You should at least get Warner Brother. Warner Brother. Warner Brother. Warner. Brother. Oh, Warn. Okay, got it. You got it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Old brain's not working so. But well. yes. So in two weeks we'll have the Leafy Greens band. They're awesome. They play a lot down in uh, 
the Jupiter Palm Beach area. Um, fantastic duo. Very, very excited to have them on the show. So, uh, and then we have tons of guests rolling into 2021 in January. So uh, very, very excited to bring those to you and uh, get some live music back on the show here. Get it turned up. Uh, again, thank you for hanging out with us tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show this evening. Uh, we hope you got some good cocktail uh, ideas out of it. We gave you a few of them tonight. So uh, drink responsibly and uh, and enjoy. Uh, give it up for the amazing Jordan Taylor and her cookies. Thank you all. We worked very hard on these today. Yes. Straight from Publix. Straight from Publix. <laughs> Putting them on the on the plate was the hardest part. Yeah, we put them in a very precise order. Yeah, we. She <laughs> says. <laughs> oh, man. Join us next week, 8 p.m. for another episode of the Jams and Cocktails live podcast. Broadcasting live from the legendary JNC Lounge. I'm Brad Brock. And this... Is 2020. <laughs> this is 2020. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Just Good kidding. night, you guys. We'll see you next time. Toodles. Mm-hmm.